Hi folks, uh, Ozzy Oz here again. Glad to see you made it back to our website. Uh, wanted to show you one other interesting project again with this uh, scrap aluminum. Stuff you'd probably just toss on a, on a roadside. I mean, don't do that. This stuff is very valuable. Another project, what we needed to do is uh, make a solar panel. And uh, what we did, we needed a frame. I actually had to size the frame, but to give you an idea what we did, we built up a custom frame and we sheeted it with aluminum. Okay, we can give it a little bit here. You may wonder well, what the heck is this guy doing, but I, I just, I, what I did is I made up a box. I made up a box because I needed something to stick this solar panel material to. And then this solar panel material I'm talking about is uh, it's made by a company called Unisolar, right here in Michigan. Let me just show you what that stuff looks like. And uh, get an idea of what I'm up to here. By the way, this is our uh, Java guy. That's still in the works. You may see that in another episode. But anyway, back to the solar material. So here's what we're talking about here, folks. This is a rubberized material. This is a rubberized solar material. Very flimsy. You can't just lay this down. We needed a box. We needed a box. Oh, you got any glass? Okay, we're good. So I needed a box to fasten this to. So that's the solar material, very durable. You can walk on this stuff. Each of these panels puts out about 125 watts. So I had to size, of course, make up my whole frame. Let me show you what we did. Let's come this way. I'll explain this to you. Here's, a, here's where a lot of the actual engineering happens, right in this very room. All high-end equipment and software we got going here. But down this way, you can come this way. Quiet in the building today. And uh, if you look to the left here, let me show you what we got going. Come on in here. So here's our solar panel, right up there. And what we have here, we've got about 250 watts of uh, power, DC power. Okay. And here's this box I'm talking about. Notice we salvaged that aluminum channel again. So we've got the channel, a thin piece of aluminum, then I stuck the roofing material right to that. And I designed this thing in such a way, folks, if you look underneath here, this whole structure can pivot. I got hinges up at the top, and I mounted some, uh, these are just regular shelf brackets, I mounted to the wall here, and you can raise and lower these things to get this thing tipped right. And right now I got it about maybe 42 degrees, which is kind of ideal for Michigan. So we got about 250 watts there. What I got here is a uh, is a uh, uh, so just basically a switch box in case I need to measure some uh, voltages at that panel, voltages and currents. And then I got some piping that goes underground over this way. And uh, what I have here, folks, is a disconnect, okay? I got a disconnect there. That's in the event that uh, we ever have to service this thing. And this is all DC, but you still need to put some kind of disconnect on there in the event that you need to service your equipment. And then what I have here, inside here, is a, a device, again, called a charge controller. And what that does, and that takes that power from that, that solar cell. That solar cell puts out 42 volts. That's not suitable for our battery, so we got to condition that down to 12 volts. And this device, if I had a screwdriver, I'd open that up. But I got a, a Morningstar charge controller that actually regulates the power from the solar cell to these uh, batteries. This thing here, by the way. That's, uh, you might recognize that. That's just a barbecue still where bin. I found that on the trash. Picked that up. I needed a nice enclosure to uh, put our batteries in. Keep those out of the elements. We got two 12 volt batteries here. So again, solar cells are keeping these batteries charged. You say, well, what the heck are you gonna do with that kind of energy? Small amounts, well, it is small amounts, but what we're doing with it, we're put, we, we've got a ground lighting that we put in. And uh, the ground lighting comes on and off based on a little photo cell here, okay? A little photo cell there that turns those lights on and off. And uh, what you can see out there, if you look around at the base, and I'll explain that tower in a minute, but uh, if you look around the base here, get out of the sedum, and you see we got a set of uh, lights here. Good lights, this ground lights. We got three of them, 20 watts each, only a total of 60 watts. Not a lot of energy, but I'm trying to prove a point here. So we got lights, you say, what the heck are you lighting up? Some kind of monument? Well, what this thing is up here, if you look up here, this is a, uh, what they call a wind spire. 
So that's our wind spire. That's also producing energy, as you see it right there spinning. That particular uh, generator is uh, what they call grid ready. It actually ties right back to our 110 volts right in the building. This thing does not store up any, any energy. All this does is dump energy back to our panel. And of course, if we weren't using any lights in the building, you see our meter start spinning backwards. Small amounts though. This is 100, well, not 100, 1.2 kilowatts, 1200 watts of energy. And all it does, it offsets your meter cost. So we're not storing anything up here. We're just either slowing down our meter, or of course, if this building was totally out, no power being used, then it starts spinning the meter backwards. And uh, that Windspire, by the way, you may want to see this. Uh, you can go to our website. It's uh, Windspire, W-I-N-D-S-P-I-R-E dot W-C-S-Kids dot net. Windspire dot W-C-S-Kids dot net. And what we have, we have uh, footage, live footage of this thing running. So you can see this thing in the evening, in the daytime, whatever. You're at the beach, you got some kind of connection at your hotel. Windspire.wcskids.net, and you'll see this thing spinning. You get an idea how often it spins. Today is a decent day. You know, we are in some kind of, it's a little bit of drawback. We're in this courtyard. If you look around, we put this thing in a courtyard. Look around where we're at here. We've got a large structure in the front of our, uh, kind of like our uh, auditorium. If you turn around, you can show them uh, the high structure. Block, blocks some of, some of the wind, but the thing that's nice about the wind spike, take a look at it now. This thing will catch wind in any direction. It's not like your standard wind turbine, where the thing has to seek the wind all the time. So no matter how the wind is swirling in here, folks, this thing is catching wind, okay? And that thing there, that hub there, and that puppy spinning right up there. A couple hundred RPM right there. And that's it, again. If you got any suggestions or want to donate materials, cash, whatever, rubies, credit cards, whatever you can donate to us, we're going, this is all going to a good cause. And you can reach us, I believe, through YouTube. Is that right? Oh, yes. Yeah, so you can put comments on there. I, I mean, I'll put your money to good use. Thank you very much. Ozzy Oz, over and out.